Hi, I'm Danielle Dixon, and I'm an assistant professor in the School of Marine Science and Policy in the College of Earth, Ocean, and the Environment. I went to a specialty high school in Minnesota, which is right on the campus of the Minnesota Zoo, so I was able to take marine biology and marine science as a high school student, um, which is pretty rare considering I'm from Minnesota, which is about as landlocked as you can get from the oceans. And then also when I was about five, I asked a question at the Shedd Aquarium that got me interested in marine biology. And kind of ever since then, as a kid, I kept saying I wanted to be a marine biologist and I never really changed my mind. My research primarily focuses on how anthropogenic cues or human-induced changes are affecting animal behavior. And I specifically look at a lot of coral reef fishes. Um, I also have recently extended that to some temperate species, such as some sharks that are found right in Delaware. So how ocean acidification is gonna impact behavior and potentially we could start preserving an area that we find um, really important or in areas that are really degraded, we're trying to find the answer on how we can fix them. The research that I conducted during my uh, PhD was the first to show a connection between ocean acidification and impacts in fish. Before this, we thought that ocean acidification would only affect um, shelled creatures because they have a hard skeleton that's made of limestone and limestone dissolves in acid. That was kind of the thinking. Ocean acidification actually affects their cognitive ability. So when fish are little babies, they go off into the open ocean and then they have to come back to a reef. And once they come back to that reef, they stay kind of in the area that they initially picked. So if they pick a really bad area or they pick a, an area that's not appropriate for them, that's a huge problem because they might not be able to find a mate or they just might not be able to survive in general. Sharing research with the locals is really important for me because I'm a lot of times in really remote locations like um, villages in Fiji or in Papua New Guinea. And the villagers can kind of make or break a study. They can either pull your study out of the ocean or they can actually help you. So one of the ways that I found that was helpful is I make little DVDs for the adults that kind of describe what I'm doing and then it describes a little bit of background and also how this research is gonna impact their lives directly. And then I also make little children's books for the kids with kind of a storybook about each study that I do. Um, it really helps them to kind of connect with the research and understand what I'm doing. So I found that to be one of the most effective ways to, to talk about my research to them. My favorite thing about my job is that I get paid to go to vacation places and I get to see all these beautiful locations and I get to go diving and figure things out. I really like answering questions that I think of. The best career advice I ever received was to be politely annoying to people. People are really busy and, you know, emails get lost. So I think it's important that you follow through and follow up on things. 